Hello, there are many ways you can do this cloud art project. You can make it real and do it scientifically so that your clouds are doing the right thing, or you can be more imaginative, or you can be a little bit of both. If you got your materials at the materials pickup, you should have two sheets of blue construction paper, a bottle of glue, and a bunch of cotton balls. If you didn't get any materials at the materials pickup, that's okay too. I'll show you what you can do also. So of course, if you have cotton balls, those are great for making cumulus clouds, right? You can make a nice puffy cumulus cloud on your paper. You can use a lot of them and make a huge gigantic cumulonimbus cloud. And then you'd have rain coming down from it, right? and have people in the rain on the bottom. You can also make stratus clouds. Remember, stratus are in piles. And one of the ways you can do that is by taking tissue or toilet paper or even regular paper and tearing it so that you can make the stratus clouds, right? They're piles of clouds, right? If you have enough cotton balls, you can also pull your cotton balls apart, right? You can pull your cotton balls apart and make them more into stratus clouds. Make your cotton balls more into stratus clouds. So those are a couple options you can do. Remember, if you want to do stratonimbus clouds, you're going to have to make a lot of them, and they're going to have to be really dark, right? Because a stratonimbus cloud has a lot of stratus clouds. Now, let's say you didn't get any cotton balls, right? And you still want to make cumulus clouds. Well, you can use the toilet paper or the tissue or the paper towels, and you can crumple it up, right? You can crumple it up to make these puffy clouds and glue them down. So you can use the crumpled up ones and glue them down and make some puffy clouds. Again, once you've made your clouds, then you're going to have to decide whether those are rain clouds, if they're stratonimbus or cumulonimbus, they're rain clouds. And then you'd have rain coming down and people doing things on a rainy day. If you just have a regular stratus cloud or a regular cumulus cloud, you might want to draw a sun in the sky and have people doing something with your crayons on a sunny day. So you can use your crayons on this also. Maybe you want to be really imaginative like they were in the video in the song. So maybe you want to make a cloud that looks more like a rabbit. Here's a cloud that looks a little bit like a rabbit, right? So you might want to make your clouds with shapes on them. And then maybe you'll draw a hill here and color it brown and have some people looking up at the shapes on the hill. Now, let's say you didn't get any supplies and you don't have any blue paper and you don't have any cotton balls. Well, if you have some white paper, you can, of course, color it blue, you know, color the sky blue. And then you can use the tissue, like I said, right, and make the stratus clouds and the cumulus clouds. Right. There's a lot of light here, so you can't see it very easily on mine. But if I take some of this light away, you can see that they do look different, even on the white paper. But I would suggest coloring it blue so that you have some nice blue paper behind it and have your white clouds. And again, if you want to do the cumulus clouds, you can crumple up your tissue paper or toilet paper and make your cumulonimbus clouds. You can make a big one or just cumulus clouds. Now, let's say you don't have any of these supplies at all. Well, that's okay too, because your teacher is going to give you a slide that you can do. You can go up here to background and pick a color. I colored it nice and blue, right? You can go to the tools up here. You can get shapes. You can use the line tool and you can make your own drawing using the slide. Whatever you decide to do, besides putting the clouds in and deciding whether it's rainy or not rainy, because you put cumulonimbus or stratonimbus clouds or just cumulus clouds or stratus clouds, then you want to show people at the bottom of your paper again 
doing the things that they would be doing on a day like that. Use your imagination. Have fun.